factor out the GCF. 49d to the 9th minus 42d to the 6th plus 14d cubed. I'm going to write this again down below. 49d to the 9th minus 42d to the 6th plus 14d cubed. And then we're going to look for the greatest common factor. If we look at the coefficients, 49, negative 42, and 14, these are all divisible by 7, and 7 is the largest number that they're divisible by. So the coefficient of the greatest common factor is going to be 7. Now we have to look at the variable parts. We've got a d to the 9th, a d to the 6th, and a d cubed. All of those contain powers of d, and the largest power of d that's contained in all of them is d cubed. All three of those are divisible by d cubed, so d cubed will be a part of the greatest common factor. Now that we've found our greatest common factor, 7d cubed, we want to see what the leftovers are going to be. If we start with 49d to the 9th, and we pull out a 7d cubed, 49 divided by 7 is 7, and d to the 9th divided by d cubed is d to the 6th. Remember, when we divide powers of a variable, we end up subtracting the exponents. So 9 minus 3 gives us 6. Next, we have minus, because there's a subtraction here. And then we've got 42d to the 6th, and we have to pull out a 7d cubed. 42 divided by 7 is 6, and d to the 6th divided by d cubed is d cubed. Again, when we're dividing powers of a variable, we need to subtract the exponents. So d to the 6th divided by d cubed is d cubed. Now for the last term, we have to take 14d cubed and pull out a 7d cubed, but we just get 2 because 14d cubed divided by 7d cubed gives us 2. And that finishes the leftovers, which gives us our final answer, 7d cubed times the quantity 7d to the 6th minus 6d cubed plus 2.